Hi students, this is Dr. Badrenath and today's topic is a documentation. Supac documentation. Doctor, very, very important in regulatory affairs. Industry is offering a more salary than that of the production average. That's why this regulatory affairs department is very, very important. Okay. Documentation is especially important. This topic related only to the Supac documentation. See, what is the Supac? What are the scale up? What is the scale down? Okay, what are the categories of change, levels of change, changes you want to do after getting approval, post approval. What is the meaning of post approval changes? After getting approval, you want to change. Everything I have explained in this old video, my this is my previous video. In this video, we will see only documentation. Part here, there is a four parts are there. Four types of documents are there, classification. First one is annual reports. Number two is a changes being affected supplement. C B E yes. Supplement means not we will get a supplementary examination. See, every six months we will get one supplement, not that supplementary examination. Annual reports means and not annual examination. Third one, pre-approval supplement. Pre-approval. Pre-approval. You have to get the approval. If you want to change, to do a change, implement the change in your company, you have to get approval first. Pre-approval supplement. Changes to the drug product, CDP. Four, four files are there, four documents are there. All these four are very, very important. And this is my mobile app. You can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. Okay. And if you go to the store option here, see the bottom, you can be find the whichever course you want. And this is my YouTube studio. Uh, you can be see this is a playlist. In the playlist, all subject wise, I have arranged it. In the each subject, you will get a uh, topic wise. See here annual report. See summary I have given here. First of all, I have given a summary before entry into the topic. Side by side, I have compared all four methods. One, two, three, four. See annual report. What you have to do annual report. See now already you have a product that you have you got a USFD approval you, uh, and you uh, already manufactured the number of batches. You already marketed. Everything was completed. Now what the matter is you want after getting approval, you want to change yeah, something. Okay, right? What to do now? Annual report. In case of annual report, whatever you want to change, you just change it. Change it. Okay. Implement the change. Whatever you want. Need not to be informed to the authorities, regulatory authorities in Priya. Need not to be wait for the approval for, from authorities. Just but inform to the authorities annually. That's why this is called an annual report. Annually, you have to inform. So and so changes I have made. That's it. Number two, changes being affected supplement. Here, changes whatever you want to wish, you submit the supplement to the authorities. But need not to be wait for the approval. You implement the change. You implement the change, but you have to prior, you have to submit the supplement. Okay, implement you implement the change and authorities have a rights to reject. Keep in your mind. And pre-approval supplement. Pre-approval supplement. Submit the supplement first. Submit. Wait for the approval. Compulsory, you have to wait. You have to get the approval. These type of changes you should not be made. You have to apply. Government will do that. Is a regulator authorities will perform. Then only after confirmation, then only you have to implement change. And changes to the drug product. If you change the drug product, what you have developed, now you are getting a new drug product. What you have to do in such cases, if you are changing some minor changes, major changes are there. In case of minor changes, minor changes, you perform the in vitro test, dissolution, same dissolution equivalent, and you implement the changes. Major changes, you have to perform the in vivo bioequivalence studies. Then only you can be implemented. See, annual reports, First one, these annual report changes are generally do not have an, any effect on the quality of the product. Even though you are changing it, no problem at all. For example, change in the label description, label design, deletion of coloring ingredient, changes in the container, changes in the closure system, all these types of changes without information, you can be change it. But annually, you have to report to them. So and so changes I have made. That's it. Okay. Uh, third one, here these type of changes, see here, uh, it requires the validation, 
it requires the specific documentation you apply it but don't wait for the uh, approval okay don't wait for the approval fda will go uh, the regulatory authority it may be uh, approved immediately or after 30 days whatever it may be need not to be wait for the approval you just change the implement okay implement the change example addition of a new specification or new test method uh, facilities control okay uh, test method like analytical method label change for addition warming temperature precautions to be taken all these things will be there on the table uh, you have to store in a warm place store in a cool place precautions uh, shake well before you use all these things if you want to change definitely you have to first of all you have to apply then implement the change need not to be wait for the this one for fire their approval next use a different facility method all these are the example and pre approval supplement name itself indicate these type of changes you first apply and wait for it after getting approval only you have to implement the change see here this supplement must be approved before the proposed change is initiated example relaxation of the limits per specification hardness uh, what is the upper specification what is the lower specification compression speed upper limit lower limit weight variation test upper limit lower limit specifications see here limits of the specification upper limit lower limit like that analytical method new regulatory analytical method came into the market mass spectra so far you did hplc now you want to implement the mass spectra all these type of changes changes in the in process control see here in process control if you want to change all these things you will and changes to do the drug product see resultant see previous drug product already approved you want to change some drug product after changing it if it is a minor changes minor then uh, dissolution studies are enough minor change what is the minor change this is a definition minor change having a minimal potential effect have a adverse effect on the identity strength the quality purity of the potential this is called a minor change major change means it has a substantial potential to have an effect of adverse effect on the identity strength major change it has a very effect in such a case what you have to do in vivo bioequivalence in vivo bioequivalence you have to be performed so i will end my session here